So today we're going to do my salt water changing station. I've got my 100 gallon vats in. This has been a project that's been going on for over nine months now. As you know, I am your Burl Gas Reaver and I do things as I can and as I can afford them. Everything you see here I've done DIY myself and building my dream reef tanks. So let's take a look at it. We'll start outside. Okay guys, we're outside. Right up underneath the eaves here is where I teed into my water line from my spigot, hose spigot out front. Ran a new line over behind the bar 75, which is where my salt water mixing station is. Put a new spigot here. Yellow line in is water into the RODI system. Red line is water out. I use that and move it around to water various bushes in my backyard. Down here we have our drain lines coming out of the from underneath the the tanks on the salt water changing station or mixing station rather. This is my emergency drain. This is my main drain, which will get hooked into the 18 feet of reefer madness eventually, and it all comes down around the corner here and ties in with my rain gutter then goes out to sea. 18 feet of reefer madness. I am your broke ass reefer and today we're working on the fish room. Taking it to the next step. Let's check it out. This pond liner here is going to get glued down onto the floor here. It will come and lip up over. This will be my stand for my two water vats, 200 gallon water vats. This is my emergency drain. If this room was to flood, this will not allow the water to go out. This will be my main drain that will have, so I can do my water changes here in the 75 and it will also go over to the 18 feet of reefer madness room over there if I can get it yeah and that will pipe will extend out underneath here to get over to the fish room so and these pipes again go outside of the house and they run down the side of the house and connect to the down pipes from the rain gutters which all goes out into the canal out back. So, this is, I've got bulkheads that will go over the pond liner to connect to these. So it'll be tricky. I'll have to put the pond liner down first in this area, make the connection because I need to get to the back to tighten it up. And then I will have to lay down my platform and then continue with the pond liner up and around the walls and up and underneath the RODI system because I want to be able to just pull these off and they're going to dump water. So I want this covered with rubber. All right, we will come back to this when I have some plastic down. Okay, got this cut off. I'm cut in. This is glued up to the uh, stand for the tanks. I'm going to let it set overnight and then I'm going to put the bulkheads in. Okay, now we've done some pond liner origami. I've got it roughly laid out. These are where my two bulkheads will go. This will be my platform. These corners are rough. But at this point, I got it up and I can work these corners in, peel things back and start gluing it in. We'll get the bulkheads in. We'll get that update. And then maybe we can finally get this thing done. I'll be very excited. All right. Until I get further in the project. I still have to cut this sucker out too. Okay. Thank you. 
good for now. We got the pond liner down, vent in my stage where eventually my 200 gallon vats for salt and fresh water, salt and fresh water will go. Got my emergency bulkhead drain over here. And I have my other bulkhead drain over here, on which will continue on out underneath there to the big fish room. But it's good for now. I put all my scraps, I just kind of scrapped up the wall. I wanted to get behind my RODI system because I know when I twist those tubes off of there, it's going to spill water, so it just protects everything. And as I've learned from the big fish room, the pond liner is absolutely great. Let it get wet, no big deal. It just dries right up. It's a fine opportunity to mop all the crud off the floor. <laughs> Construction crud. All right. And here we are today. We've got my two water vats in. Pond liner down. Our stage is covered. We've got our drain here that will eventually go to the 18 feet of Reaper Madness. The other bulkhead is on the other side for our emergency drain in case of floods, which always happens. It's a matter of when, not if, for the time being until I get this thing plumbed in, which will be another episode. Be sure to like and subscribe, follow the journey. I just stick this hose in here and that's how I drain my water now. My water in is coming from my seven stage RODI system. I've got a water cutoff valve right here so I can leave the water on outside. Sediment filter, two charcoal filters, and of course on top there, and then 3DI resins after that. And my line out, which goes to the other fish room for now until I get my plumbing in. Okay, we'll see you at the next update.